It was the first day of the Easter holidays and Lucy Jack had been playing outside her granny's house in Larbert by Falkirk. We decided to play football outside, so my big brother kicked the ball out, so I went to run and I slipped over on the grate, so I just sliced my leg open, so felt really sore. I didn't want to see it. I didn't want to. I just wish it never happened in the first place. She'd fallen on a metal grate designed to stop dogs going into the play park. The injuries to her knee were serious, as her dad Scott explains. It was a, a, a very nasty cut, two cuts, one of which we could see right down into the bone. So we quickly realised we needed to get her to hospital. Locals say this metal grid and two others like it had originally been installed the wrong way round. So the metal ridges were protruding up causing the danger and they also say they'd spoken to the factor and to the builders before. I'm very angry actually. It's my granddaughter that's been hit. I let her go out to play in a park that I believe to be safe. I find it incredible that a park has been passed for health and safety which is a play park for children and it turns out it wasn't at all. Lucy's granny Christine Campbell lives right next to the play park. I just find it incredible that a builder of that size could build something we also pay um, factoring charges for it, so it's looked after. Um, that's also to do with the maintenance of the play park, and yet in five years no one has picked up the fact that it's got dangerous gratings. Lucy needed ten stitches, and her dad says she's become wary following the accident. The family is seeking compensation from the factor and builder on the grounds of negligence. Scott Jack again. I'm obviously concerned that my daughter's scarred for life, um, but I'm also concerned the safety of other children. I think um, the grates themselves has clearly been installed the wrong way round. They're not only dangerous, um, but really um, negligent in my opinion that they've been advised that the residents believe that the grates were upside down since they've been built five years ago and they've failed to do anything about it. Residents decided to take matters into their own hands after Lucy was injured and turned the grates over themselves so the smoother surface was on top and the protruding metal ridges faced down. The builders, Kala, have said they built the development in 2010 and handed over responsibility a year later. The factors, Hacking and Patterson, have declined to comment. Lucy says she's still happy to play at the park, but her family argue this accident should never have happened. They want those responsible to react when concerns are raised and ensure play parks are safe.